2009 Prius wheel bearing rear. I'm sorry, 2006 rear wheel bearing, same on the 2009. I could not budge it. Slide hammer pounding from the back, um, using an air chisel, penetrant, all these things. This was not my idea. Found it online, just thought I would show it. I haven't finished it yet. Um, you can see, you can probably do this with two bolts, but I'm doing four. And basically put the bolts through, see how close they're hitting the backing plate. So not to deform it too much. And basically, I'm just going to tighten up all four bolts a little bit, and I believe it'll come off. You could probably do this without taking off the brakes, but really it only takes a couple minutes to remove the brakes. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't do any damage. Um, here's the sensor. I rubber banded it out of the way. Here's what the back looks. Sorry if this is upside down. So we'll see if this works. Um, to get the lug nuts out, just turn it slideways just you know to one of these spots just away from the brake cylinder and you can just pound them off and hopefully this will work making progress 2006 prius uh, as you can see it's getting loose just slowly doing opposite side so i'll do this one then this one and then this one and this one kind of even tension i had to replace one bolt because the nut was stripping um, i find that uh Put the nut, a washer, and then a bolt to separate the, the load right here um, a little bit wider. And also spray a little oil on your bolts. It'll make it a little bit easier. Um, this is working really well, really easily. Um, I just wish I would have done this to start with. I wasted all this time, about an hour, trying different techniques. So by far, this has been the easiest so far. Again, <laughs> not a big deal to remove the rear brakes. Give yourself a little room to see what you're doing so you don't screw something up. And hopefully, I will get this sucker off. Woohoo! It finally came off and released. I am still really stuck to the backing plate, so I'm going to loosen these up, and then I'll work from the top and the bottom, maybe with just a screw bar, just to try to free up the backing plate. I just also sprayed it down a little bit, so next step, just get off the backing plate, clean all of this, and I should be good to go. So thankful I finally got this loose. I finally got it off. Um, with the backing plate, I just took a little pry bar and just gently went behind the backing plate. And you can see a couple marks, not too bad, where the bolts were. And here's the, finally the hub removed. So um, this is a 9 16 nut. Um, these are just some bolts I had for doing docks. And again, it's a little bit larger nut spacer or washer. Uh, oil them before you do it. This technique worked really well. I would highly recommend it. Um, I had looked at other techniques including the um, hub buster and basically we're unit clamped on this and you went down. I tried doing that with a crowbar. The crowbar slipped off and uh, I ended up denting my daughter's car so she's gonna love me for that. So I would not recommend that. Anything with a lot of kinetic energy. <laughs> I should have had my wife hold the crowbar but of course no. I had to do this all by myself. So anyway uh, that's another project, Fix That Dent. Um, this technique, definitely, I would recommend. It was safe. It was easy. If I would have started this way, I would have been had the whole thing off in half an hour instead of an hour and a half. Um, just slowly alternate. You'll feel equal pressure on all of these as you turn them, so just try to keep the same kind of pressure. You can watch it slowly work away your way out as you get a little gap. Spray it down a little bit. You can see how wet that is, so my penetrating oil did get in there. So, anyway... Good luck with your uh, hub.